internet, good morning. My name is Pokemon Trainer Steve, aka Magnitude, and welcome to this Pokemon Go rumor mill slash update type video. Now, stuff about Pokemon Go has been data mined, and it's called the Buddy System. I'm not going to try to have any intros or anything. Right? It's called the Buddy System. A lot of people have been saying, yeah, I've never seen Dragonite, I've never seen Axe, I don't have any Kabutop, I've never seen one Kabuto. How are they going to fix that? Because players don't want to spend too much trying to find a Pokemon. Now, I get the appeal, I get the reason why they would do that. They want to make rare Pokemon more rare. And they want to reward players for going out and finding Pokemon. I get that. However, a lot of people have been frustrated with the lack of uh, rare Pokemon they've been seeing. Mostly, you know, how nobody has a Charizard, nobody has a Venusaur, nobody has a Blastoise because they're so hard to find and starters are so hard to catch and they come out of, you know, two kilometer eggs, but they're so rare in those eggs. So what has Atlantic done to fix that problem? It's called the Buddy System and it should be coming out in the 0.35 version update. Now, this has all been data mined. So it's nothing official seen in the game, it's just what people have found going through the code of the game. This is called the Buddy System. You're going to be able to select one Pokemon at a time and it can walk with you. It's either going to be big, uh, medium size, it's going to rest in your shoulder, or it's going to fly next to you. So you have one Pokemon at a time in the Buddy System that you can walk. And the more you walk with that Pokemon, you'll be rewarded with candy of that Pokemon. Which means, of course, you can evolve your Squirtle, you can evolve your Bulbasaur, you can evolve your Charmander. Because you'll be able to just, through natural playing of the game, as long as you're walking around like the game you know, wants you to do, you'll be getting candy for that Pokemon. Now, it uses the same server-side calculation as the egg. So, until they really fix the uh, egg mechanic, because a lot of people are walking and they go, I walked a point eight kilometers, it only gave me point four. Well, the way that that calculation works is it takes a straight line. Every minute or so, the game updates with where your position is, and they send it to the server, and uh, it... So it takes a straight line between the two positions that you were at. So if you're walking in circles, it's only going to take the diameter of that circle. So walking in straight lines from longer distances is optimal for hatching these eggs. And if it uses the same calculation as the eggs, then it'll be optimal, of course, for getting candy for your Pokemon. So this is a very cool addition to the game, and I'm very excited. I can finally evolve my Omanite. I'm going to see where I'm going to be evolve all my stars. I'm going to get a Raichu finally. So anyway, as a result of this, we're going to see a lot of uh, more final evolved Pokemon. We're going to see more rare Pokemon. And if you have one Dratini fret not, you can walk around, and that bad boy is going to evolve on its own. Which I also I kind of like because uh, there are Pokemon in the games that evolve by happiness and friendship. So I kind of like that they're implementing that to all the Pokemon. I think it's just a cool addition. It gives the idea that if you you know spend enough time with a certain Pokemon, it'll get to like you and know you, and then it'll want to evolve. So they took out actual battling of wild Pokemon. This is a good alternative, and I'm a big fan of it. So let me know what you guys think below in the comments. Like I said, this has all been data mined. We don't know for sure, but we're pretty sure that it's coming in the next update. Uh, so rate, comments up, and I will be seeing all of you guys next time. Peace.